Hi, this is Derek Sai from LearnByBlogging.com. Today I'll be reviewing this book called Gut by uh, Julia Elders. Julia Elders uh, illustr is the author of the book and is illustrated by uh, her sister Jill Enders. This book uh, got the inside story of our body's most underrated organs is very very interesting. I learned quite a few things from the book. Is uh, she really spill out, spill out uh, uh, her gut about this gut, our gut, which is by her words is the most underrated organ in our human bodies. But if you read this book like I did, uh, you will agree. I learned many things about this about our gut and the gastrointestinal systems. For example. Uh, Pulling involves quite a few plumbing and process steps. The coordination between the inner sphincter and the outer sphincters, uh, or the anus, is quite an amazing feat. The book also has a chapter on determining the, the shapes, uh, species, uh, species uh, types, and colors, and, and what have you. Everything you want to know about the um, the the pooping process, the entire pooping process. The two little uh, and also there in the book it went through the entire uh, there are three parts to the book and the first part is about the uh, let me scroll down a little bit by the way you can follow along here uh, the first part of the book is about gut feeling is where you cover the overview she covered the overview of the gut system and quickly discuss how things go in and come out and what happened in between the, and the, sec, the part two is about the nervous systems of the gut, the amazing orchestration between the gut, the brain, and the rest of the human organs. The third part is the world of the microbes. And the microbes play a huge role in our human absor absorption of nutrients and, and the immunity systems. And many of the causes and effects are still unknown under uh, research at this time. So the, the very interesting uh, outline of the book and let me quickly go through what I learned from that. Uh, there are two little bumps in the cheeks and uh, two below your tongues, uh, right there below your tongues, uh, secrete the saliva to digest the food. And the saliva contain, even contains some painkiller that may explain why we feel comforted or has the um, energetic, energetic uh, effect when we chew gums or, or have any food at all. And often the, uh, she brought up this one point that uh, a bad breath could often be caused by a tonsil stone. I didn't even know there's such thing as a tonsil stone until you uh, Google it and search and look at the YouTube video. It's pretty gross. And the shape of the stomach is such that the food will go down smoothly without backing it up. So it's shaped with a funny uh, the, this little uh, R shape and um, we, it allowed the food to go down without backing it up and when we laugh or talk. And the liquid food can kind of go right through it with getting to the in, in, uh, small intestine on a fast track. So as a result, it traps, also has trapped the gas that, uh, that we need to burp out. The surface area, especially the small intestine, is roughly 100 times larger than our skin. This is so that we can absorb every bit of the nutrients from our food. Interesting fact. Cooking breaks down or unfold the protein to save our stomach from doing a lot of the work. So eating cooked food is major development in our human history. Allow our, our, in, yes, our intestinal system to be more efficient. And also the appendix provides immunity cells. Previously, people always thought that the appendix does not do anything. But it does serve a function. It provides a immunity cell to fight back bacteria and also store a good bacteria. Of course, often becomes a victim of the infection that results in the appendicitis. And uh, I don't think there's any parts of our body that is not useful and otherwise it will be evolved evolve out of the uh, in existence. 
the uh, <clears throat> medicine often take effect faster when absorbed through the last few inches of our large intestine or the colon through the use of a suppository because that part of that few inches of the colon does not go through liver to get filtered out. Very interesting fact. Uh, fat goes through the lymphatic vessel straight into the heart and get pumped into the blood before getting liver to uh, get into the liver to be absorbed. So there's a there's a why that the eating good fat like extra virgin oil, virgin olive oil can help reduce our blood vessel clotting. The um, I didn't know that fat actually has a fast track. And a human body seems to like uh, the treat fat as a um, superstar. And that maybe that's why we get fat so easily. Soy, and uh, there's a side point to that is don't use olive oil on a frying pan because the heat might alter its fine characteristic. So use butter or coconut oil instead of, instead of that because they are more stable under the heat despite its uh, saturated fat. So interesting fact again. Soy and canola are two plants that contain the complete amino acid. Otherwise, you have to eat meat. Okay, and there are two nervous systems. One that's controlled by our brain, the other one of the gut that control the smooth muscle systems without our knowing it. The smooth muscle is like um, the muscle around like our blood vessel, around our intestines, and they are controlled, they're they are very they work on their own without our human interve our brain intervention. A reflux is a symptom of two nervous systems kind of stumble on each other. One has to take over the other one. Uh, there are some coordination problems. That's why we have this uh, stomach reflux. Vomiting actually is an effect uh, act that takes the coordination of all the organs within our gut in the reverse orders, and not many animals have capable of vomiting. It's one of our survival advantage that we can vomit out stuff that does not agree with us. The extra risk in taking uh, risk taking behavior may be attributed to certain bacteria in our gut. They could be a frontier for insurance industry or privacy issues. We don't know, but there are some bacteria for some reason can cause people to be to take more risk taking. Interesting fact. And uh, sorry about that. And the gut receives a lot of sensory information that provide us the, the big pictures. So when we say we have gut feeling, uh, it is providing our uh, big picture for us. Hence playing a huge role in how we perceive the world through this insula. Insula is one of those uh, uh, organ or the, uh, the duct that sometimes is more so than our brain. They play a bigger role. So it play a huge role in how we feel emotionally as well. In part three, it covers the microbes and our gut systems. There's a lot of information there. Encourage to read that. Uh, but it boils down to good and bad bacteria. The good bacteria help us digest the food and convert to vitamins. And also keep the, uh, the bad bacteria at bay. The bad bacteria actually made us sick, but also train our body to come up with a defense mechanism, the immunity cells. So they all have good and bad in, the, in the different connotations. The book is written in a very humorous way, especially the illustration by her sister. I thought was very funny and very readable and enjoy, entertain, entertaining. The, I mentioned about the three parts of the book. And um, so the book, there are a few videos I attached in the, in the bottom that show uh, the author, how uh, she was fascinating with, the, with this topic and came out with the book ever since she was in a, in a I think university or college in Germany. The, although the author is German, the book is very well written in English with good humor and good illustration from her sister. I highly recommend this book. This book, Gut. Uh, it got all this guts, the intestine systems that come out. So the inside story about body, the most underrated organ, I tend to agree with her and definitely uh, recommend this book yeah, if you haven't read it and appreciate your reading, uh, watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye now.